Hello guys, it's Legend over here. It's great to see you, welcome back. Today is going to be a very interesting video, uh, because we are going to talk about... You know what we're going to be talking about? Mm -hmm. That's right, we're going to be talking about fashion. Fashion is something that is uh, pretty common and pretty popular in Vindictus, because uh, the amount of tools that it gives you, it provides you with, uh, allows to customize your character pretty, pretty well. You have uh, a lot of different outfits that you can combo with each other. You can dye uh, different parts of the outfits as well uh, to any color you want. And today we are going to talk about the dressing room. Uh, we will go through all the skills that uh, you can acquire through the dressing room. Uh, what you can do with the uh, tools that it provides you with. And just see, uh, like, overall, uh, what can you do, what you can do, and some of the tricks, some of the little details that you probably didn't know about Dressing Room. Enjoy. First things first, and you might ask, like, okay, so we're talking about Dressing Room today. How do I access the Dressing Room? Well, that's pretty easy. We go to the bottom right corner uh, in the main screen, right, which is Avatar, and Wardrobe. This is where we have to be. And we enter the dressing room. Now, obviously, uh, the loading in this game is pretty resident sleeper, so we'll have to wait some time for it to load. And once we're in, there's going to be a lot of stuff there waiting for us. And we're finally here. Now, what if... Hmm. Oh, this tea is so good. Let's look at the skills now. First of all, in this main menu, you can uh, see, first of all, uh, the ranking, uh, which, like, what rank you are in the fashion, and uh, the amount of uh, wardrobe points that you have. Wardrobe points is the most important thing when it comes to fashion, when it comes to dressing room, because uh, the more points you have, the more skills you unlock uh, for your character. Or, or characters. <clears throat> Now, uh, the World Rope Point, they do um, divide into uh, different uh, options, into different things. Uh, it's either outfit, you, you gain points uh, from acquiring outfits, you gain points from acquiring back uh, slot items, which is uh, backpacks or wings or balloons, whatever. Uh, the tail slots, that usually is uh, either a bunny tail or a leopard tail, uh, Winter fox tail, any kinds of tails that you get, uh, and object points, which is uh, chairs, uh, sunbeds, showers, and so on. Well, uh, different types of outfits uh, give you different types of points. Uh, there are white, green, blue, orange, and legendary, which is uh, like red-ish, I guess. So let's look at the skills that you can acquire with uh, the more points you gain. Uh, and first of all uh, is the Add Appearance Preset slot. Now, what does it do? Uh, it allows you to store different types of appearance that uh, you might have. So let's say you made a look, right? You save that look, and uh, you can use it uh, later uh, with just clicking two... Uh, doing two clicks, you can uh, access your uh, appearance and just switch to it whenever you want. So it's quite easy. And uh, the more points, wardrobe points, you gain, the more uh, additional appearance uh, preset slots you acquire. Up to 36, as you can see, uh, if we just uh, uh, scroll down a little bit, you can see there is a lot of them. So you can store up to 36 different types of uh, presets. So, like, as you can see, I have a poison cosplay, so it can be one of the presets. So I can, whenever I just switch to it, I do like a succubus queen outfit or whatever, I can then just switch to uh, my saved preset of poison and just, she will, she will change to it in town instantly. It's pretty good. So whenever you acquire some of these, if you go, to, if you hit the cog wheel, you can actually choose whichever character you want that skill on. I recommend that if you have a main, one main, Right? But 
even if you if you have like a lot of ults, to use it on your main character that you use uh, that you play the most. Uh, and don't worry if um, whenever you unlock the skill and uh, you use it on your main. You can still use that on your other ults, but it's going to cost you. As you can see, uh, for the next character, if I want to unlock that skill for, I'll have to pay 5,000 AP with that character that I wanted to be unlocked on. So uh, it's um, it gets really tricky. You will need a lot of AP on your ults if you want uh, to, you know, to add more appearance slots for your ult. But whenever whenever you just choose the skill you wanted, you just uh, use it right over here. Uh, Legend Dharma is my main. Uh, just use it, and it's going to be there. Pretty simple. Um, also, if you just uh, use this arrow button, it will show you um, how much AP it will cost for the second or for the third character, and that, that just works for every skill that is in the game. So make sure to consult with this to know uh, if you... Uh, uh, if you want to spend that on the other character, uh, how much AP uh, you will have to you will need to unlock that. Next up is add die slots, and there is only two skills of these. Uh, uh, obviously, you can see how much wardrobe points you need for uh, each skill to unlock. What does it allow you to do? It allows you to have, um, let's say, you have a black spinal chest piece, right? Uh, and I'm gonna include a screenshot here. Uh, Whenever you unlock the die, uh, slot, additional die slots, it will mean that you will have these boxes of three, three color RGBs uh, unlocked for you. So let's say you bought a new set. You bought a new set and uh, you have both of these skills unlocked. So you have three different boxes with three default colors that that outfit comes with. You can switch between these uh, die slots, right? And just choose whichever you want and whichever you want to color differently. So whenever, uh, let's say, uh, I have black spinal in black, in white, and I have any default colors. So <clears throat> if at some point I will, uh, I would want to use my uh, black spinal, but not in the black or white, I can always uh, revert to my... Uh, default colors and just dye it whatever I want. So just save it right there. So it allows you to have more options for the same outfit piece uh, to be dyed differently. And then you can switch in between them or mix them up with uh, with each other. This is an, a very awesome skill. And once again, uh, don't forget to press the arrow buttons to see how much AP it will cost for if you want to do it on an alt after you acquired it on your main. Uh, next skill is uh, add object uh, fatigue points. So this has been uh, added not so long ago. And uh, what does it do? It uses it uses different points, uh, which are object points. So whenever you acquire them, uh, you unlock these skills with just the object points. It increases your maximum fatigue with each skill you unlock by 10%. So right now the cap is 300%. If you unlock all these skills, so you have like a lot of objects that give you points and you unlock them all, you're gonna have 400% maximum fatigue. And also it allows you to use your uh, object once a day and sit on it or interact with it for like what five or ten seconds and you restore extra fatigue by using that which is an amazing tool whenever you're you know having problems with fatigue um so if you have if you happen to have objects that you like or some of the objects that come from let's say from the checkered in event uh this will be useful and uh, they also counts towards the overall total war role points which is across all of your character Moving on. Now, the next thing is obtain clone outfit crafting box. Now, the clone box is, uh, whenever you unlock it, you will gain it and it will go to whatever character you want. Um, I recommend, again, to send it to your main first. And uh, it will allow you to clone an outfit or different pieces of outfit into a box and you can send that box to your alt. So let's say you have uh, a favorite outfit and uh, you're playing uh, two characters, just like how I do. I play Arisha, I play Leather. I have um, an outfit that I like a lot on Arisha and I want that 
outfit as well on my leather. So what do I do? If I unlock the clone box, I can actually store that outfit and send it to my leather and she will use it. Uh, it's very simple. Um, I will give you a preview a little bit later in the video how to do it, how it works. Um, and uh, it kind of it saves you money, technically, because uh, you don't need to spend. Uh, let's say uh, there is an outfit that is 500 million, right? It's like very expensive, and you don't want to buy that. You know, spend another 500 million for your old, like because you just don't have that money, right? And you have the clone box. You just put that outfit in the clone box and send it to your old, and your your character will use it uh, freely. Uh, it's just 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 how it works. Uh, unfortunately, the clone boxes uh, they require a lot of outfit points, so uh, it's gonna take a while before you gain uh, these. Uh, so it, 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 it's really hard. It's really hard to gain them. It, even I, I don't have uh, a 7th and 8th uh, clone box. I used uh, previous 5 ones, but I have a... I uh, unlocked the 6th one not so long ago, and I will show you how it works, but this is going to be a little bit later. Next up is premium outfit die ample quantity. Now, um, and we will talk about it in the uh, ample crafting tab in the video. It allows you to store uh, more uh, premium dice that you're going to be crafting. So uh, whenever, if you don't have this skill, you will only have one. You, you can only store one, and before, until you use it, you won't be able to craft another one. So it's uh, it's really nothing too hard about this one. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, ample qu uh, quantities. Next up is quick ample crafting. Uh, you unlock it pretty quickly. Um, as I said, it it will allow you to, uh, it will make your life easier to craft uh, dies, and we will talk about it as I said a little bit later. Uh, quick ample crafting additional color that goes for the uh, quick quick crafting as well. Uh, quick ample's uh, crafting preview discount. Uh, this uh, allows you to have uh, to pay less for uh, for the previews in the boxes. I'll show you everything uh, about that uh, in the respective tab. A special ample crafting, uh, superior ample crafting. These uh, allow you to craft uh, more dies and uh, more variety of them. And uh, the rest of the skills that you unlock are different types of emblems. You can see them in uh, in the emblem tab when you press C, and then emblems. You can preview them there. Uh, different types of emotes. You can preview them with the J button in the town and see uh, the, the different uh, emotes. They're all pretty awesome. The catwalk, the cherry blossom, the gift, all of that. And the titles. So different titles... Uh, Edgy, glamorous, fashionista, everything you want. This is all the skills that you can acquire through the dressing room. Uh, pay, uh, pay attention to what kind of points they uh, require you to do. So for object FP uh, points, you need to, uh, it will require you object points only, not the total wardrobe. Some of them are just outfit points. But uh, keep in mind that all the uh, everything that you gain on your account, on every character, they all together go into the total wardrobe points. As you can see, I have 3200 points, but that's not just on Arisha. Some of my alts do have different outfits, uh, some of them have objects, and they all count towards this one big uh, point. Oh shit. <clears throat> okay, so now that we talked about uh, the uh, skills, let's uh, talk about the ample crafting. Let's go there and enter that tab. Now, we are in the ample crafting. So, what does it do here? If you unlocked quick crafting, it allows you to uh, create dice, obviously. Here, you can click on the material item. Uh, you can choose whichever uh, die uh, you want to create, either a clothed die for your regular armor or outfit die for your outfit. Let's just choose the uh, outfit die over here. And you can see 
all the colors, uh, all the preset colors uh, that he can choose. Obviously, they're uh, um, f everyone's favorite uh, 25, 25, 25. Uh, you know, my favorite 20, uh, 215, 234, 255, uh, bluish white that I use a lot. Uh, so what do you do? If you unlock quick crafting uh, through the skills, you can choose one of them instead of uh, you remember uh, how it was before. Uh, you right click on the uh, ample in the game in town and you have to search manually just uh, infinitely for the color you want, right? Here it's easier. You choose it, bang, it's going to be there. You don't need to you don't need to search for it. And if you unlocked an additional uh, color skill, you can actually choose two of them. So you increase your you increase your chances of rolling either one of them. Now the rest of the four boxes, uh, you can uh, select the colors with the gold. And if you have the, the discount, it's gonna cost less. So it's gonna be three thousand gold for uh, each. And you can re-roll them as many times as you want until you just see these. Uh, you know, you you will have some really nice colors on the four of them. And once you're done uh, searching for, you know, for the color schemes, you can press craft and it's going to roll one out of the six. So it's still random. It's still the element of RNG. So uh, make sure that uh, you choose the one or uh, the, the first or the second, uh, depending on how much points and wh what skills you acquired. Uh, accordingly, uh, which colors you want, and pray that uh, they roll. So it still remained the element of RNG, unfortunately, because it's Vindictus, but uh, it makes your life way easier instead of just, uh, you know, searching for that exact RGB for hours and just resetting and resetting and resetting. It's super annoying. And you can craft them. Now, the next tab is Superior Ample uh, Crafting. Now, what does it do? It's uh, way different. So you here, you have to pay two amples, but you can choose a color directly. So if the quick crafting is a gamble, but just with a quality of life that allows you to, you know, uh, search for your color instantly, this one allows you to make the color directly. So I want a 25, 25, 25, no problem. Pay two ample uh, boxes, uh, pay 7,000 AP, and just craft it. Just click craft, and it will craft. Now, there is a catch. Uh, whenever you craft a superior die, or a uh, special die, uh, it will go on a cooldown. One week exactly. And it doesn't reset uh, weekly, uh, just like, let's say, Redeemers reset on Mondays. Whenever, once you use it, the cooldown will go. So, if you... Uh, let's say the week uh, has passed and uh, you you forgot about it and you just uh, let's say you crafted it on Wednesday and then the next Wednesday you forgot that it reset it and crafted on Thursday you go there you use it and then only next Thursday you will be able to use uh, the either superior ample or special ample again and the the last tab is special amples and this is uh, really really interesting tab here and very expensive too you need to pay 15000 ap two boxes once again but you can choose more in depth colors here there are rare uh red colors like 8000 uh 10 10 10 black uh you know it just different types of them which you you won't usually acquire through gacha or anything right so uh these are uh, very, very unique color schemes that you can create, and it takes a lot of time. Uh, I have a Demon Maiden outfit that was made uh, just with the premium dice. It took me two months and uh, uh, tons of AP, uh, what, like 120k AP to create that look. But it, it looks very unique, it looks very awesome. Uh, you can craft these uh, unique colors with the special amples. Simulation. Now, next step is the simulation, and this is something that can be super, very addicting for everyone, because uh, it allows you to do many, many stuff here. First of all, if we go to the... Uh, and look at the 
right tab, here is what you have on your character that is acquired. All your hairstyles that you can uh, you can choose right away, uh, makeup, face tattoos, uh, and lenses. Inner armor, body tattoos, and scars, uh, you can just uh, choose whatever you want, just apply it on your character. And uh, all the outfits that you have, you can switch in between them. And also uh, the back slots, the tails, everything that you have. And also you can preview the uh, um, all the tails, all the outfits, all the wings that are available in the game. So uh, if uh, you're curious to see like how Pink Fox Tail looks like, well, no problem. Sure, there you go. Or uh, the, the the wings or back slot. Like how how does this balloon looks like? Or the uh, the upcoming uh, wings from the um, uh, checkered in event you can you can preview everything here and simulate pretty much as i said pretty much everything <clears throat> so let's say you want to see you want to find an outfit that you're looking for you don't need to search uh the browser that you know the internet or anything you just go here and uh let's say i'm looking for um i don't know uh, foxy sat okay and there's like foxy executive for example and i can actually just uh, simulate it and see how it looks like on my character there you can see uh you can change whatever or foxy desperado the one that uh, we will be able to choose from the uh, uh from the box at the end of the checkered in event it's amazing like you can do whatever you want you can create unique looks with all the tools that uh, the game provides you with uh, unfortunately you can buy anything here uh, you can only do window shopping so uh, keep that in mind and uh, that's about it uh, like here is the list of all the outfits that ever has been uh, available in vindictus so you can just <laughs> mix and match everything. You can sit here for hours creating unique looks and just uh, just, just to see how uh, your character will look like. Why is it good? It allows you to pinpoint which outfits you want in the future, so whenever they come, you'll save some money for them and you buy them right away. So it's not completely useless. It, it, it does add um, an element of fun into the game. Now that we talked about it, let's look at the left part of it. Well, first of all, uh, you can see the familiar things like uh, poses over here. Also the action, if you want to see your character in action, uh, her uh, facial expressions and stuff. Um, if you are not satisfied with the lightning, uh, and lighting here is uh, pretty wide, so you can actually preview it in Colhan. It will go to Colhan, you will have Colhan lighting, and you will see how it looks like in the real uh, game, right? And here you uh, just, uh, you can dye your equipment. So let's say I am looking for, uh, I don't know, the Vampire Bride set, right? The Vampire, Royal Vampire, sorry. Here, here it is. So let's say, uh, I don't like the, the default color, so let's see how it's going to look like with, uh, I don't know, let's choose uh, 10, 10, 10 black. We uh, press dye here. Okay. And we can just color, we just choose different types of them, d uh, d different pieces of them, different parts, and we can simulate it, we can see how this set looks like with 10-10-10 uh, black uh, on everything. It looks pretty sick actually, uh, I'm not gonna lie, just need to get rid of this uh, back piece, kind of pisses me off. Yeah, there we go. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Pretty cool. So. You can reset them back to the normal and just try uh, other. Uh, you can also, uh, if you click choose color directly, you can choose any RGB you want, or if you know an exact RGB, you can input it there. So for me, I like 215, 234, 255. And this is the one that I like. And you can actually uh, register favorite, and it's going to be in the tab there. So whenever, uh, instead of just uh, rolling these dice over here, uh, in that tab to the left, you can actually just make yourself uh, quick slot uh, favorites, and whenever you just uh, want to simulate, you can choose them right away, save, and you can actually color the, the, the outfit 
fully with zero uh, with 80 zero zero and see how it looks like in this dark reddish so quite sick too i'm not gonna lie and that's about it that's about uh, the simulation so you can uh, people spend here hours trying different combos and uh, as I said, you can add to the mix, you can throw to the mix the uh, the wings, you can throw to the mix uh, anything you want. It's uh, it's really crazy uh, just how much variety it uh, it gives you. Here are the bunny babe set, if you want <clears throat> anything. You can color them, you can preview them, and uh, this, uh, this is something that is super addicting, so uh, be careful when you're going to be uh, simulating. And good luck uh, creating unique looks. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, maybe you've created some really nice, sick cosplays. I will have a look. Uh, let's see uh, what you guys have created. And now moving on to the appearance settings in the dressing room. So what does it give us? Here we go to this... Uh, little uh, room over here and you can see what I talked about in the skills in the first part so as you can see these slots are the additional presets that you can unlock up to 36 and you can just uh, scroll over here and just choose whichever a preset you saved just choose just click on it and boom you're gonna you're gonna switch to that preset instantly you can also do that in town uh, so um, it allows you to quickly switch between your uh, your presets, your favorite outfits, your combos. So it's really good. So uh, what do we do here? Uh, how do we uh, make this happen? Uh, first of all, if we go to the Manage Wardrobe, you can choose uh, a preset over here. So if in simulation you just simulated all the, that stuff, here you can work with everything that you have acquired, so everything that you, is in your possession on your character, and you can create a unique look over here. So uh, let's uh, quickly create something, I don't know, that's gonna look uh, not so uh, somewhat funny. Okay, so I've made this, uh, for example, uh, just a different inner armor over here and uh, let's say I don't want to I don't want to wings here so uh, let's remove them completely and we we created a new look over here you can see these are the die slots that I was talking about these boxes so you can switch to um, whichever you already have colored right and just create uh, whatever you want so it's just a uh, Default cap, um, I have Arcana in de in default colors and in black, so let's uh, leave it as it is over here. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it looks kind of funny, the <laughs> this <laughs> outfit that we created, but I'm just, uh, I'm just showing you uh, what's up. So here uh, you can also just switch uh, off the outfit pieces, so it will use, uh, let's say, um, I have a Militia armor piece that is fused. Uh, the Dullahan into militia, so I can use that in my uh, uh, in my luck as well. And let's say like I don't want heal. Let's go. With, let's go with these uh, fluffy slippers. Here we created a look. So now what? Once we're done uh, creating it, we go to save appearance over here. And as you can see, I already have these presets. They're all uh, named as well. And let's pick. Uh, this one, a new one, create a new look, click this, and let's say, uh, I love my viewers. Boom, saved. Over here, and save. Save to slot 25? Yes. And it's saved. And now, uh, whenever we, if we, if we go back, actually, finish editing, and uh, scroll through our uh, presets over here 20 24 and uh, 25th there it is it's saved we have it and uh, we can switch to this outfit in the town whenever we want so it allows you to create as you can see this is my uh 
default look with the armors. So whenever I just create more looks, I can actually just uh, store them and uh, have more presets that I can switch in between instantly. Uh, also, battle appearance settings over here, this tab, you can choose uh, in which order you can actually, they will automatically equip on you. Uh, let's say, um, uh, like, after the battle ends, it will switch, or uh, where it in the guild house, or whenever you enter the guild house, it will, uh, like, if we chose, for example, this demon maiden, it will switch to demon maiden. Uh, right away so it allows you to customize it even more uh, without the need of you know switching them manually you can actually just have an order in which uh, the presets are going to be equipped under different conditions as well so uh, it's really awesome this tab uh, allows you to uh, create your looks with the stuff that you already acquired and lastly now let's talk about some of the things that you can do in town also, uh, hit the like button if you like my uh, baller on my t-shirt, and I think it's quite sick. Pretty sick thing. <laughs> Alright, so, what can you do in town uh, when it comes to dressing room? So, if you go to your next inventory, uh, there is a switch die preset, and this is what I was talking about uh, earlier. When you unlock these additional two uh, presets over here, this boxes of RGBs, and you can color them whichever you want. So we're in the black spinal, we can switch back to the default colors of the chest piece. I have one of them colored in white, and one of them in black. So you can switch in between in between them. So the more the more dice uh, slots unlocked up to three, uh, the more variety you can have with one outfit. You don't need to buy a new outfit to color it. You just uh, can use it with different presets. Also, one of the things over here that has been added not so long ago, and I talked about it in the uh, uh, in the video of the new patch, if uh, like some of the outfits they have forced inner armors, and now you are able to actually dye them. And as you can see, uh, the default color of Succubus Queen outfit is. Uh, I think it's uh, 25 black on the stockings and the and the bra, so it looks like this normally. But now you can choose actually the the color you want. You can switch to red bra and red stockings, and that applies to all the forced inner armors uh, that are applied to different outfits that they have it. Uh, Succubus Queen is just a uh, one example. And lastly, lastly for uh, for the uh, in-town thing. Load appearance. So this is the tab that uh, we created all these looks. So we can now switch to them whenever we want. So I have a true sorcerer's outfit saved, the appearance. Boom! Instantly I change uh, to what I have in the preset and I can roll with it. So if we go to uh, tab number 25, which is I love my viewers. Bang! Here's my outfit that we created. Uh, together pretty much and uh, I can just instantly uh, switch to it and go and just uh, raid uh, with this outfit whenever I want. And last thing for today, uh, I know this video has been pretty lengthy but this is fashion, it's important, right? Is the How does the clone box work? So once we acquire a clone outfit box, we right click on it and we will have this tab over here. So we can choose whichever you want. It will show you all the outfit pieces with to the different the respective slots. So Arcana Goggles, for example. And you can clone not just the whole outfit if you want. You can clone different pieces of it. So let's say I, I want special old Kirby Bunny Babe top as well. And for the pants, I want, uh, I don't know, a Demon Maiden? No problem. Uh, some nice heels on top, uh, pff, whatever, a uh, special Rose Justicar, uh, boots, and for the gloves, like, whatever, like, let's go Secret Agent. You combine them all, you can, you can just, uh, sp you know, put different pieces or just the whole outfit as you want. And, uh, uh keep in mind that the outfit, uh, die appearance is gonna be 
right here. It's going to be the first slot. So if it's not, if it's probably going to be locked on your old, so it will only use the first scheme. So make sure that you are sending uh, the items with the color uh, with in the first box. So if you have, let's say, in the first box, it's pink, right? But you want it black. Yeah. In order to just clone it and send it to your alt without the unlocked extra presets, uh, die presets, uh, it will only go pink. So you'll have to manually, uh, on your main, color it black first, and then you send it to your alt. It will always use the first preset. Always. And then just the character name, there you're going to have a list of the characters uh, that you want to send. Arden Lin is my leather. And then just send the box. And uh, once you log into your uh, leather, you will receive it in the mailbox. Uh, you open it up and you receive these pieces. And this is everything you need to know about Dressing Room. Don't forget about it. Uh, dressing Room is a key thing about Vindictus. And uh, you do... Uh, meet with that thing on the daily basis. So uh, all the things that we discussed today that I showed you uh, Maybe you found something new uh, that you didn't know uh, and uh, Some of the things actually answered your questions that you had for a long term Like how do I do this or how do I do that or how do I acquire this or that? Thank you so much for watching. This was Legend Arma TV. It's uh, always great to uh, just make these videos for you guys. I know I've been uh, a little bit uh, away because uh, I got sick again. I don't know uh, what's going on, but uh, yeah. But I'm coming back uh, to Twitch uh, very shortly. Um, I bought uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, um, a platformer. So uh, all of you who's been a Crash fan or just a fan of platformers in general, uh, make sure to catch me on twitch.tv slash legendarmatv. Uh, very soon, join my Discord for the announcements. Uh, the stream is going to be there. I'm going to be fully coming back to my usual routine. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell. And uh, just uh, stay awesome as you guys are. Thank you. Stay safe. I love you. I see you later.